there's plenty of ways to find money in real estate. I had a great mentor of mine that told me for the right deal, the money will show up. And that's been so true. And, you know, even to this day, like when you find a great deal, the money will show up, meaning that there are people out there that are looking to invest into real estate just as much as you were looking for a deal. Like they're looking more so to invest in real estate or maybe be, you know, what's called a gap funder or maybe be a hard money lender or a private money lender just because they want to invest in real estate because they understand it and they generally don't want their money tied up for a certain period of time. Now, the thing about it is there are plenty of ways to find the money. I actually had a friend that started with $6,000 and now they have a rent roll like of $30,000 a month. And that really keeps him and his family afloat. Like they do really well and they have other businesses. But the thing about it is their basics are covered. So it's really important to understand like how much you're starting with and figure out where you can find the money. A lot of that's going to be dependent on your price point. So what your price point is, is generally what, how much, you know, capital you will need. So for instance, with $6,000, Let's say you're putting down, you know, like that on a $20,000, you know, 20% down, you could buy, you know, $20,000, $30,000 property. But those are going to be in C and D class areas where it's not really like appealing to go to, but it is a good start. So you could maybe look at Michigan. You can maybe look at uh, parts of Louisiana or, you know, other markets that are not necessarily close to you, but still have great cash flow. And again, like it's, important to think about where to find this money so again you had your friends your family they're really important especially knowing that now they know that you're a real estate investor it's really important that you can talk to them and say hey are you interested if i find a great deal to invest in real estate um another option is your current house i want you guys to look at your current property as your asset and if you don't own a house right now that's like your first task that you need to do you need to go out and purchase a home because it is like it is so cool to be able to leverage your personal asset to go out and buy other assets. And actually that's how my wife and I purchased our, our first investment property was we did what's called a HELOC, a home equity line of credit against our current house that we lived in. And then we went out and purchased an investment property. We put 20% down. So it wasn't very invasive. It was conventional loan. And that was a great start, but we were able to leverage what we had now and then go out and do this. Um, the other thing too is, if this really means a lot to you and you really want to invest in real estate, you will find a way, you will find the money. And again, the money will show up for the right deal, but you can scrape together. Maybe you gotta go to change some habits and like cut cut back on Starbucks, cut back on spending, cut back on going out to restaurants. But it's a great way, once you start building that wealth, it's gonna be like a bug that bites you. And you're gonna just be hooked on buying real estate and thinking about everything is like, oh, well, you know what, I, I want a boat. Like, what size property do I need to buy in order to pay for that boat? And that's how I want you guys to think about things is really, one, where are you going to get the money from? The money will show up. And you just need to really think about using what you have now, your current asset, your friends and family, or just the people around you that want to invest in real estate. Like I said, I had a friend that started with $6,000, and their rent roll is $30,000 a month right now, which is awesome like this is so cool like that is like a dream you know what i mean so it's important to think about that you can start from where you are you don't necessarily have to have a hundred two hundred thousand dollars just sitting there in order to do it however it does help especially when you're looking at areas that you know you might live in where average price point is higher than louisiana right so um but think about that think about where you can get the money from look at your friends and family you know, talk to them and let them know what you're doing. Check out your current house. Another option is, you know, some of you may have retirement accounts. So retirement accounts are a great way to do it where you can borrow against it and then pay yourself back interest, right? So you've been paying into these retirement accounts and essentially, you know, consult with your professional, but you could use that money and borrow against it because it's your money. And I've had numerous clients that have borrowed against their 401k or their, um, their retirement accounts in order to buy property and then they just pay themselves back right because you're paying yourself back the interest so look at your 401k look at your life insurance look at your um your tsp accounts if you work for the government that's a great one because it does you know take insurance the other thing too is if you have a 401k and you cannot borrow against it 
you could maybe convert it into a self-directed IRA, right? And again, consult with a professional, but this is a great way because a lot of times we think that the return on taxes, like because we're paying, we're taking that penalty on taxes, it's gonna hurt us, but in the long run, it actually hurts us more. It hurts our ability to build wealth, especially in real estate, because your stock account's probably getting you five, six percent. Guess what? Today in 2024, inflation is like what, 14, 15% when you add food, gas, and everything back in. It's about 24%, 25%. So make sure that you think about these things when you're do, making these decisions because the tax implication today is m might be minute in terms of the amount of wealth that you could build through real estate, especially when you know prices are going up 8%, 7% annually across the nation. So think about real estate as a wealth creation tool and think of it as like, sort of not a complete replacement, I'm not telling you completely replace your 401k, but sort of like another silo for investing and creating wealth for you and your family. So think about where you can get the money from, look internal and you'll find it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.